In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to change your Zero Verify device. Whether you've just gotten a new phone or simply prefer using a different device for your two-factor authentication, this guide is going to walk you through the entire process step by step, ensuring you can make the change swiftly and securely. Let's start by heading over to the Zero homepage. Navigate to the top right corner of the screen where you'll see the option to log in. This is our first stop. Once you click on login, you'll be prompted to enter your email and password. This information is crucial as it verifies your identity and grants you access to your Zero account. Please make sure to enter these details correctly to avoid any unnecessary login issues. After successfully logging in, you'll find yourself at the dashboard. Here you might notice your profile picture located at the top. This small icon is essentially your gateway to personal settings and more. Go ahead and click on your profile picture. This action will open up a new menu where you're going to want to click on account. This section houses important account details and customization options. Within the account settings, you'll notice several options presented to you. However, our focus is on managing the multi-factor authentication, commonly known as MFA. To progress, locate the three dots associated with the MFA settings and click on them. This will open up a drop-down menu offering several options. From here, select Turn Off Multi-Factor Authentication. This is a critical step as disabling MFA temporarily will allow us to set it up anew with a different device. After selecting to turn off MFA, you'll be asked for a six-digit code. This is a standard security procedure to ensure that any changes to your account are indeed authorized by you. Retrieve this code from your current verification device and enter it when prompted. Upon verifying the code correctly, you'll need to click on Confirm to proceed with turning off the MFA. With the MFA turned off, you're essentially in a transition phase. It's important to note your account is momentarily less secure, so we'll want to re-enable MFA, but with your new device this time. To get started on this, click on Done to acknowledge that MFA has been disabled successfully. Now onto the exciting part, setting up the MFA on a new device. Initiate the setup process just like you would when first enabling MFA on your account. This process involves scanning a QR code with your new device or manually entering a setup key, proving once again the versatility and accessibility of Xero's security features. By redoing the MFA setup, but now with your preferred device, you're ensuring that your account remains as secure as ever but with the added convenience of having it linked to a device that works best for you. Whether it's because you're shifting work phones or you've simply bought a new personal device that you find more convenient, reconfiguring the MFA is a straightforward process that significantly boosts your account's security. Remember that the whole idea behind two-factor authentication is an added layer of security. By requiring something you know, like your password, and something you have, like your phone receiving the MFA prompts. You're significantly reducing the risk of unauthorized access to your account. Throughout this process, it's vital to ensure that your new device is adequately secured as well. This means having a screen lock with a strong password, fingerprint or facial recognition enabled, along with keeping your operating system and security software up to date. This ensures that even if your device falls into the wrong hands, the information and access it contains remain safe and secure. I hope this guide has been helpful in walking you through changing your Zero Verify device. Remember, the key to smooth transitions in maintaining account security is following each step carefully and ensuring you understand the importance of each action you're taking. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tips and guides on making the most out of your Zero experience. Stay secure and efficient and I'll see you in the next video.